Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer and I am back with Until Dawn Part 2. Thank you so much for the response on the first part of this Let's Play. I am so glad that a lot of you are enjoying this. I have played around with the sound settings a little bit. I hope that this is a little bit more equalized than the last part. I know my voice got drowned out in the last part because of the game. So I've kind of changed it a little bit. If it, the game is too low, I will change it back to how it was. But you guys should just let me know in the comments because you know, you're the ones that have to listen to this. So I want you guys to be able to hear the story just as well. So we're gonna hop right back into it. Okay, so we're still playing as Mike. And uh, we had just shot, haven't we? So we're going up to the cable cards. I kind of want to explore yes. a little bit though. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. I want to yeah, see. I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Sorry about my fast. dog. He's like barking, so I apologize, but I can't yell at him because I want to record. Okay, so we got the wanted poster. We've already seen that. But we'll have another look. Just in case, you know. It must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I, I mean, I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Must be going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know? Sorry if there was an echo on the first few seconds. Yeah, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah, uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He, he said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. So gross. I really don't want to go in here. Please nobody be sleeping in here right now. After you. Oh, real gentleman. Okay. Let's have a wander around, I guess. We're in the cable car station. Nah, no, there's a TV on. And I thought the car was closer. There's a TV on. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's Blackwood Pines. Hotel and sanatorium. For a healthy body and mind. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. Not so rich. They only bought a mountain. <laughs> that was pretty damn rich to me. I don't like this. Huh? What? I feel like something's gonna pop out. It just changed its view. Never mind. It doesn't seem to be anything on there that I can see. Hey Chris, don't get so close to the camera, dude. It's a little bit creepy. Right. It's not much happening in there. Coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. <laughs> Go on, get in that cable car. Stop cracking jokes and get in the cable car. Enter car. I'm just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good. Sorry, Good. guys. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> I don't want to be here. You know what? I let's really just, don't. Let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. That's, That's so interesting. Heaven. If it weren't for the fact 
that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low cut shirt that showed off her training bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Well. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. I'm glad I'm Ooh. not alone. Butterfly effect. A summary of the butterfly effect by Christopher. Thanks, Chris, for letting me know. Just in case I didn't know what the butterfly effect was. I'm glad he's here to tell me. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Trusting, irreverent, confident. Hey, Jess. I like how now she's boy, dating oh boy, Mike. Oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. New people? Don't you already know us? You were here last time, Jess. Uh, why is she saying new people? Okay, where the hell are we going? Seriously, Jessica. Where are we walking? Okay, this way. Clearly. <gasps> My what the hell? Jeez! Hey. Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're <gasps> stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? That was horrifying. Why did they do that? Why do you make someone jump like oh that? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, <laughs> got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have Chris. here? Chris. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. And says give that back, explain, I'm with Mike now. We're gonna explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Huh. Awkward if Emily's here this weekend, which I'm assuming she will be. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. <laughs> Mike. Okay. What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. I want to check that relationship status. Um. So our honest went up. We went down with Sam, but up with Chris because um, we told them what was going on. So Sam doesn't approve. Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. <laughs> Trying to change Mr. the Kunde subject there. built the lodge like right where the cable car ends. Emily, Mike's ex. She's intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Oh, hey Matt. Motivated, ambitious, and active. You know. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <laughs> right here behind you, quite clearly. We're the one carrying your suitcases for you. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh. Yeah. Same. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! Jesus! Mike! <laughs> Mike, why would you do that to me? Emily's ex, intelligent, driven, and persuasive. Ooh, they have a characteristic in common. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You, you really, really should have seen your faces right there. Made me I just shit myself. Just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. I would have clocked woods, you. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Ooh. Getting personal. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Aw, um, This is super awkward, 
and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys yeah, gonna make out go. now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. <laughs> All right. See ya. I actually quite like Mike. Status update. Status update. Uh, charitable. Okay. Uh, our relationship with Emily went down. Our relationship with Mike went up. Oh, crap. What? What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Why? Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's I important. I really don't want you going Matt, alone. please. I don't want you to go alone. I really and don't. I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'm I'll gonna protect you from a killer. Come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry. There's I'm, a killer! I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? I don't like Emily already. Um, okay. I don't mind Fine. if Emily dies. Whatever you want. Get rid Thank of her. Thank you. I'll <laughs> see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Get rid of her. Poor Matt. I genuinely just wanted to protect her because there's a freaking killer on the loose. Our relationship's gonna have gone down. Okay, so our romantic relationship went down and our relationship with Emily went down. So our relationship with Em is gonna be on the re rocks, pretty much, because I kind of dislike her. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Who is this? Oh, Ashley. Hey, Ash. Has a crush on Chris. She's academic, inquisitive, and forthright. Cool. She sounds sweet. She's on the lodge grounds. Oh god, I don't want to. Whoa, oh, okay. hello. Somebody's getting Mike a and Emily. friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. I don't want to. I don't want to do this. Can you not? Oh, oh my gosh! Hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Just Louise, Well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what is wrong well, with all these boys? Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, damn. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. No. Mislead, it's busted. Encourage, take a look. Oh man, um, I would say it's busted. Go for it. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just what? <sighs> for real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Um, no or what? What do we go for here? I'm just. I I don't want Matt to oh, hurt. No, really, Matt. It's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it. So just no, no. All right. Um, uh, sure, if you say so. Maybe we should have looked. Maybe the killer would have been there. So that was a butterfly effect. Something's now gonna happen, thank you to that choice. Which is not what I need to hear. <laughs> I'm gonna scream a lot, basically. Jessica, Upper Cable Car Station, 2141. Okay. Read book, check phone. We're gonna check my phone. Go for it. <gasps> Bloody oh, hell. You did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Go away, Mike. <laughs> but who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh, run to bench, grab snowball. Come on, Jess. Go on back. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Go on. Get him. Yes. No, how do I shoot? Ah! 
I forgot how I shoot. I don't know. Okay, oh, I think I did it. Great. You can pay. You know that? R2, I think it is. Sorry, but guys, I completely forgot how Where to like are you shoot. Hiding, little chickadee. Okay, get him, get him, get him. Oh, yes! Ah, oh, another. Hey! Duck! Oh, snap! Yes! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't Hello. like the birds. Come on. They mean something's gonna happen. Get him again. Get him. Hey, Mike. Boom. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got me. Headshot. <laughs> <laughs> These two are cute. I hope him and M don't have a thing going on. Sometimes doing you nothing is the right me, thing Michael. to do. I know all your tricks. No, I, I'm not gonna hit the bird. Get out of here. No, I'm not doing it. Game, stop ticking at me. Okay, now I'll get Mike. Right in the face. Whoa! Ow! Ah. Right. Find you just. And then what? Oh, oh. No more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> These two are cute together. <laughs> gotcha. Ooh. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Hey, All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Kiss Mike, grab Snowball. I sh grab a Snowball. Ah! <laughs> ho, ho, okay. Flirty okay, banter, really you know. What am I gonna get? Flanter. Well, it's all about the flanter. I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Oh. Hello there, Mr. The Mike. Lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Oh, you two. Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. <laughs> that yeah. is probably true. You would freeze to death out here. We got another status update. So funny went up, romantic went down, uh, charitable also went down, and our relationship with Sam went down? I don't know. No, maybe, okay. Maybe that's just from before. another cable car please be someone we know please don't be anyone creepy dr hill my favorite person ever hello again hi and how are we feeling hmm? Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. Okay. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. I think my root of my anxiety. Book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Oh, great. What I'm most afraid of. Men worry me or women worry me. What? What kind of question is that? I don't know. Neither, particularly, if I'm honest. Airplanes or crowds? I am fine with planes. I'm also fine with crowds. But I'm going to say crowds more. I don't know. I'm fine with both of them. Height or drowning? Drowning. Definitely way more. That didn't need a second thought. Snakes or rats? Neither scare me again. I'd probably be more scared of a snake if it were ready to attack because, you know, they can be venomous. Okay, next one. Guns or knives? Um... Both are quite terrifying in the wrong hands. I'm gonna say guns. Okay, and 
Next one. Snakes or cockroaches? Cockroaches don't scare me. They're a bug. You can kind of squish them if you don't like them. Okay. Next one. Okay, that clown's pretty creepy. Scarecrows or clowns? I'd say that clown is pretty damn terrifying. Not funny clowns, just that one's quite hideous. Uh, gore, disgust me, crows are scary. I kind of want to pick crows are scary because I know that this is going to tailor the rest of my game, so there's going to be a lot of gore if I choose gore is disgust me, but gore does disgust me. I'm probably... This probably... Oh. Why? Did that startle you? Why so would sorry. you do that? You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Well, I wasn't until you made me jump, and now... You've made me 100 times Correct more you. nervous. Speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay, I'll go quicker. Let's go quicker then. Spiders or snakes? Spiders. Next one. Come on, he told me to go faster. Injections or gore? I don't really fear needles, so I'm going to say gore again. Okay, next one. Keep going. Don't cut to Dr. Hill. I want to be instinctive. Clowns or zombies? Probably zombies, actually. Not gonna lie. Clown, that one's pretty terrifying, but zombies are also pretty scary. I don't fear dogs. Dogs are cute. That's not a dog. That's a wolf, maybe. I don't really know the difference. Storms don't really scare me. I picked gore. Let me choose it. There's gonna be a fuck ton of gore, basically. This is very interesting. Thank you answering so diligently well you are welcome dr hill Spiders, even though you scare me zombies an awful <laughs> some combination sounds like a good friday night mm -mm. no thank you uh, well i'm afraid once again we're out of time but i promise we'll talk again very soon I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. Right, bye Dr. Hill. Thanks for just categorizing all my fears for this game. Previously. Don't you guys think this is a little bit- Oh, come on, she deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my, Where's sister, my sister going? It was going. just a prank, Han. Oh, yeah, no. we all know they died. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I, really I kind of want to skip this. Quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For, for the sake of my sisters. I know I all of this. Sam. I just oh, played hello. it. Somebody's getting a little friendly. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. But Butterfly effect. effect. Okay, I literally just played all of that. I know what happened. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah, that feels the same to me. Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. He's complex, thoughtful, and loving. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should <laughs> say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Whoops. Hey, gang. You guys get up here okay? <sighs> Could've done with some bellboys, but uh, hey. Can't get everything. Yeah, it was pretty easy. A little creepy though. I mean, it's just really weird being back here. No, go away. Yo, yo, yo! We get things moving up here, or what? Yeah, man. Gossip, Matt and Emily worry. You doing all right? Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sis. Stop. I just meant that- No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. 
It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. <laughs> um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Okay. Breaking into our home, own home. It's not breaking in, really. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Hmm, where to be back? Nice being back. So, how are you doing? Mm, it's good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Status update. Charitable and romantic both went up, and so did our relationship with Ashley and Josh. Okay. I guess we're heading this way. Even though he told us to lead the way, we're kind of leading the way. I don't like that there's a- looking pretty hot today, right? Josh! She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Now I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Joshua! Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You Ew. and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. Status update. What changed? Relationship with Josh? And Sam? I don't really know. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Well, there's a fair few windows. Oh, what's this? An axe. Nice. Hmm. Oh, it's gone. Great. Clue found. Oh man, we missed like t two clues. Are you serious? Found Washington Lodge exterior, a wall mounted holder that should contain an ax, but the ax is missing. Damn, I need to be more vigilant if I lost those. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Okay, let's move this over. And again. And again. There we go. You should probably be way more vigilant. Because I apparently missed clues. How could that just open? Oh. I'm okay. <laughs> Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? <laughs> yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Oh, oh. bloody hell. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. I don't want to be in here alone. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray <laughs> on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Couldn't you just use the lighter? Just like we did with the Lormy dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? No. 
No, I'm no, not up for that. God speak, Pilgrim. <laughs> Why? I don't want to do this. I don't want to hunt around in the dark in a creepy house that is so easy to break into. I really don't want to be here. Oh no, it's a warning totem. Oh, no. Fire. A lost totem? That's not even a warning, that's a lost one. The potential loss of a friend, that was Emily. I think that is Emily. Emily in a fire. Oh no. I don't want that to come true. I don't really want to lose anyone if I'm totally honest. No, 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 no. Stop with the noises. Okay, there's nothing around there. I don't think anyway. Is this a door? Okay, where are we going? Through here? Okay, there's something else here. A picture. Huh. That's cool. Josh. Family portrait. A portrait of the Washington family. Hannah is wearing a distinctive locket. Oh, okay. So she's wearing a distinctive locket, apparently. Let's get out of here. These noises can stop right about now. Huh? Nah, 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 get out. Get what out. What was it? I don't want to know. Get out. Just get out. I'm not even looking for clues because it's freaking me out. Why did I choose to play this stupid game? Really? By myself? Okay, that's the locked door. <sighs> Hi Chris, very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? On it. <laughs> no. I can hear whispers and stuff. I swear that's someone whispering. Oh my god. No, there was a smash. I do not like this one bit. What is this? Okay, so the power's not working. Because the TV won't switch on. There's a lot of noises around here. There's whispering! Why is there whispering? We're in a dining room. What's that? A candle. Oh, there's something here. What's this? A phone? Ugh, his message? finger. Oh message. no. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. Oh no. End of messages. Okay. Let's check out that clue. Go to the bathroom and find a deodorant can. There was a clue apparently, wasn't there? Wanted poster, torn up wanted poster. A message from the local police officer about a convict being released from jail. Sounds more like a warning. Great. Just what I wanted. Okay, that one's not opening. Very cool. Just what I like to know. 
is another picture. Prom night photo. Clue found. Ready for the senior prom. Sarah, Sam, Emily, Mike. Fourth of... Okay. Hmm. Alright. Where are the stairs? Seriously now though, where are the stairs? I can hear noises. Loud noises. Is this the stairs? We're going down? No, we don't want to... Do we want to go down? I don't want to go down. I feel like we came from down. Oh, we want to go up. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this part here. One, I'm getting terrified. Two, it's getting really dark outside so you can barely see me in my webcam. So I do apologize for that. I actually didn't realize how long I had been playing and it's gone dark in that time. So I'm gonna end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know how the sound levels were. If you need me to turn the game back up, I will. But uh, hopefully they should be okay. I am really getting scared of this game. <laughs> I've already played up until this point. Um, I know what happens when you find the can of deodorant, but that's as far as I've gone. I haven't played any more than that. So I am reaching the point where I've already played up to. So I don't know anything else that's going to happen past that point. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys.